answer should be negative x minus y. Two times x, two times one, negative three times x, negative three times negative two, that's a negative x, and this is eight. This should be 4x minus 4 minus 2x minus 6. That's going to be 2x minus 10. Should be x minus y. Answer is zero. Winning numbers are seven, nine, fourteen, sixteen, and nineteen. Today's objective is to start with a point and a slope and put it into point slope form. And then once you do that, you put it into standard form. Example 1. The point is negative 4, 6, and the slope is 1 half. So point slope is y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. You have to dump in the point. The point is xy, always xy. If I put a negative 4 in for x1, that's going to give me a double negative. So it's x plus 4. The slope is 1 half. The y is 6, so it's going to stay minus 6. Once you do that, you have to multiply the parentheses by the slope. And you'll come up with a half x plus 2. And once you reach that point, you've got to change it to standard form by moving this and moving this. So that's a negative half x. Um, plus y equals 2 plus 6. Now you can simplify the 8 there on the end when you go to your next step. You have a negative sign on the front and a fraction. You can't have either. So you could really multiply everything by negative 2. Don't forget that this is really an 8 out here. I'm running out of space. So we're, we'll say we already have an 8 there. If I multiply everything by negative 2, then I'm left with an x minus 2y equals a negative 16. Plug in the point, x1 and y1. If it's a negative number, you make it plus. This one was positive, so it stays minus 6. Slope is a half. Once you do that, you have to multiply it by one half there and there. You get this. Move this to the left, this to the right. You end up with a negative half, so you have to multiply everything by negative two so you can change the sign and get rid of the fraction at the same time. So this cancels out, and you're left with x minus 2y, and it's 8 times a negative 2 to get the negative 16. Example 2. The point is negative 2, negative 3, and the slope is 5. y minus and leave a space. Leave a space for the slope and then x minus. Leave a space for the x. If I put in negative 2 where the x1 is at, it changes this to positive. So we have plus 2. I put in a negative 3 for the y1, double negative makes this 
plus 3. Slope is 5. So multiply through by the 5 to get 5x plus 10. You have to move the 5x and the 3. So that's negative 5x plus y equals 10 minus 3. And I think I have room to simplify that at this point to get a 7. The only thing wrong with this standard form is that it has a negative sign on the front. So change the sign of everything. 5x minus y equals negative 7. On the practice, you should have y minus 1 equals 3 times the quantity x minus 2. And then to convert it to standard form, you're going to have y minus 1 equals 3x minus 6. Switch this one and this one. Negative 3x plus y equals negative 6 plus 1. That's going to be a negative 5 on the end. Change the sign of everything. 3x minus y equals 5. Bonus is 127. Bonus answer is 84. You should have y minus 4 equals 1 half x times the quantity, or 1 half times the quantity x uh, plus 3. And when you start to expand, you have y minus 4 equals a half x plus 3 over 2. You have to switch this and this to get a negative half x plus y equals 3 halves plus 4. And this part here can be simplified. It's the same as 3 over 2 plus 8 over 2. 8 over 2 is 4. You now have common denominators. So that would be 11 over 2 and we'll make a note of that out to the side here. You have a negative sign and a fraction out on the front so you got to multiply everything by negative 2. When you do that you should get x minus 2y equals a negative 11. Answer to the bonus should be 85. Answer should be 116. Winning numbers are 1, 3, and 5. If you're going to add these two fractions together, you need a common denominator. <laughs> the lowest number that both 5 and 4 have in common for their multiples. 20. I forgot I called the multiple 5 times 4 is 20, so 3 times 4 is 12. 4 times 5 is 20, 1 times 5 is 5. It should be 17 over 20. Are you sure? If you're going to add these two mixed numbers, you can do 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. Common denominator of 6. 2 times 3, 7 times 3. 3 times 2, 7 times 2. That is 35 over 6. 
6 will go into 35 5 times running out of room 5 times with 5 left over 